Here's a little video of our Italian queen that we just got. There she is with the white dot on her back. We're going to try to split our hive and create a second hive. Queen's inside this little cage with attendants that can feed her. You can see the sugar right there that they have to burrow through to let her go. There's a little cork on the end that we'll remove and before we put her into the hive. Hey folks, it's Fuller Farm. It's the end of April. The beehive's really busy and it's time to split the beehive. We have another beehive already and built. We're going to re remove some of the frames out of there and put in some frames full of comb and pollen and brood and also install a brand new queen into that hive. First off, we're going to get our smoker going. The great thing about this spot for the bees is we have all these pine needles here, so there's continuous supply of fuel for the smoker. Stuff in it here. Hive tool is great for pushing this stuff down. And that's all set to go. It'll go for a little, quite a while. But make sure that smoke is cool once it comes out. You don't want to get the bees burned or hot. All right, we're going to go ahead and smoke the entrance a little bit. Open the top, put some smoke in. Now, right now, I have the queen excluder on, so the queen's not going to be up here in this honey super at all. We go ahead and remove this queen excluder, set it up here so it's out of the way. And now I'm just going to go through and try to identify frames that are full of brood, pollen, honey that would be good to use for the split. I also want to look for the queen because I do not want to take her from here. I have a new queen that I'm going to put in this new hive. I've already taken the frames out of the new hive so it's all ready to go. This frame is full of nectar that they're starting to cure. There's even quite a bit that's been capped over here on this side. And there's quite a bit of pollen in here. There's no brood at all. So a frame like this would be good to put in for food. But really I want some frames with a lot of honey, pollen, and a lot of brood, that rainbow pattern, when I split the hive. Put this on my holder on this side. I didn't really look for the queen on that outside frame. She's not usually on the outside. It's another frame. If I blow on them, they'll move out of the way. This is all brood through here that's getting ready to hatch. A lot of nectar, honey that's curing. A little bit of pollen, not as much. And again, I'm still looking for the queen. There's a really giant drone right there. You can see the boys are a lot bigger than the, than the females. Here's a really good frame. Tons and tons of brood that's been capped, so they'll have babies before long. See through here, here's the pollen, the in the outside is the honey. That's that rainbow pattern. Same thing on, on this side. There's some queen cells down here, so I'll probably clean that up. Get rid of some of these drone cells, and this would be a good one to move over. There's another really great frame with a lot of brood, quite a bit of pollen. Don't see the queen ever anywhere on this one either. So this will be the second frame that I add over. There she is. Hopefully this is in focus. Well, I just saw her. And she is right here. May not stay in focus. See the queen right here? This is Queen Minnie from last year. The Minnesota Hygienic Queen. So I'm glad, very glad I spotted her because I want to make sure she stays in this original hive. We're going to give the new hive a brand new queen. There she is, she's moving around. If we look in here, we can see that she's been laying eggs too. So I feel comfortable with finding her with removing a lot of these queen cells that are being built. Because they're not going to need a new queen. She's still laying eggs in here and they'll be good with her.
All right, I've got the queen cage here. I put a tack on the end of here so that I can just tack it onto one of the frames. And I'm going to go ahead and put the, the queen with her attendants in with the, the new hive. Back in the original hive, I'm going to take the frames that are empty that I pulled out of this hive and I'm going to fill up this hive with those empty frames. We still have the old queen in this hive. We're going to put our top cover on here. And we're going to slide this top over so that the top entrance is shut. I want all of those beasts to stay in there tonight, hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and close off the entrance as well. That's it, the hive's been split. Now we have two hives, two queens, and now we get to watch them grow. Any questions, let us know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.